All right, so just right here, right here. Okay, all right. So Crow, your fans believe you alienated them due to the mobile game uploads. What do you have to say concerning that? I don't think that's the case at all. Will you upload Gunpla content more frequent? You know, I, I do want to, but I feel as if I'm going into a different like direction, you know, my channel. Like, I think mobile app games is just the wave of the future. I think it's a natural process moving forward. And do you believe you're going to stop playing and recording mobile games? I don't think I can, you know, it's just, it kind of brings you in, you know, the whole, maybe it's the gotcha system, maybe it's the, the lottery, maybe it's the, the gambling addiction that it, you know, it peds on me, but I definitely don't see myself ever stopping, ever. Gotcha. <laughs> Please don't make me do this. <laughs> I'm a mobile gamer now. I got ambitions. God damn it. Hey, what's going on? Bill is Cross Tama here, and we're gonna have an unboxing of the real grade RX 93 New Gundam. Boy, oh boy, uh, this kit it just looks beautiful. Um, the artwork on this box is something I'm actually gonna keep. I don't normally just keep boxes just because it looks pretty, but this is going to look so amazing next to the RG Sazabi. So, very much looking forward to that. So, my opinions around the New Gundam. It just looks amazing. I've always loved the new Gundam for what it is. It's a very big mobile suit, just much bigger than the actual RX-78. And the fin funnels is just, it's such a cool aspect to this Gundam. Um, you know, even without the fin funnels, just the mobile suit by itself, I still think looks amazing. But you just throw those funnels on, even the, the twin funnel set, you're just gonna have a souped up just mobile suit that I would love to always have in my collection in which I do have two. And don't forget to go to newtypehq.com and use that promo code CROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off your purchase and you can buy this kit, put it in your cart, and you can get it a little bit cheaper. So other than that, let's get on to the unboxing. Now moving away from my personal opinions around the kit, what does the box look like? The box looks like a goddamn masterpiece, I'll tell you that. So it's pretty much similar to most RGs, but I would say you see more of the body on the actual silhouette of the uh, RX-93. So I, I think I think this just looks a little bit better because he's leaning forward instead of just standing up. It looks like he's you know going in for a, a thrust or uh, for an attack of some sort, but it looks really good with that close up detail. Now this kit was not being sold almost anywhere around me, not in Iwakuni, in most places I found in Hiroshima they were not selling this kit. I found one shop that always sells these kits, usually on Thursdays, uh, but I went here, I went there just pretty much on Friday, and I found it for 3,360 yen, uh, a reasonable price, but yeah, that's, it's pretty much going to set you back anywhere between 35 and 40 dollars. Now here's going to show the high grade Sazabi next to the real grade new Gundam. Uh, they're both in the same scaling. I'm pretty sure there's going to be uh, maybe a little bit difference of scaling because this is such an older kit in comparison to a newer kit. So they probably adjusted the scaling on this one. Uh, but I mean, obviously, I'm going to have my real grade Sazabi right next to it fighting it, you know, basically in mid battle on my shelf. And I think it's going to look pretty cool, much like it's going to look cool on your shelf as well. And here they're just showing all the Shars counterattack stuff. So yeah, basically a bunch of the high grade kits. And if we look on the other side of the box, you are going to have the RG New Gundam, followed by the high grade New Gundam, and then we're also going to have the real grade Sazabi, and then lastly the high grade Sazabi. Now in terms of runners, you are going to have 12 in total, and you're going to have a sticker sheet alongside two beam effect parts. 
The first runner is going to be runner A. This is going to be your multicolor part. So you're going to have the clear green right up there. You're also going to have some beam effect parts for the news beam sabers. And you're going to have right over here some beautiful, nice, vibrant red. And then the rest is just going to be your basic, almost like a German gray uh, inner frame. Now looking at the inner frame, there is so much level of detail right inside there. So if you're really the kind of person that loves the detail up your inner frame, I mean this kit is going to allow you to do that because I can see so many different color options you can put in there. You can put some copper alongside, maybe a little bit of blue, a little bit of uh, red as well as some bronze. You can just put a lot of different colors right in there and maybe even display it uh, half armor, half just inner frame. Even right here on the underside of the skirts, I mean, that's some nice looking vents right there. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of just, just options. You have so many options right here when it comes to how you want to actually detail up your kit. Um, inner frame is something that I really do want to get more into when it comes to actually detailing. Uh, I haven't really took the full plunge, but I think eventually I will get around to doing that. And this kit has a lot of different like forms. So this, in just terms of like mass production and all that, the, the new Gundam is very versatile. So I can see myself buying another one, maybe even get another one just for a twin funnel set and just rolling with that. So next is gonna be runner B. So this is going to be the same type of plastic that is used for a lot of the uh, the, the pre-made inner frame stuff. And this is gonna be for the funnel. So instead of just creating it like, you know, making all these parts separately, they just kind of gave it to you like this. And of course you're just going to bend it and I think it's gonna make it a little bit more sturdy if it's like this. Next is gonna be runner D. I just went ahead and lowered down the brightness a bit so that way you can actually see all the details right inside here. But yeah, this is going to look really good. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of good panel lines right here on the side where the shield is and just all riddled around the kit. Even on the beam saber, uh, you can see on the hilt, there's definitely gonna be a lot of uh, places for panel lining. You got the bazooka right there, some nice little places as well as the gun. And you're gonna see these vents are actually cut. So you're gonna be able to see that inner frame right on the side. So if you want, just paint, paint the parts underneath and then it's gonna show through. So if you wanna do like silver or even green or something like that, you can definitely do that. Next, you will have a mini Amuro pilot, so it's pretty cool he is holding his helmet and just walking forward. Next is going to be Runner J, so this is actually a different tone than the regular white. Uh, it's basically going to be a lighter gray, so I don't know how, how well that's like picking up on the camera, uh, but this is just like a more gray than this, this is like a pure white. So you can definitely see it's a little bit of a difference in terms of the, uh, the tone. But this is going to have parts for the head and you can see there's a lot, lots of good panel lining right on the side of there. So if you do want to maybe like color all this, like th maybe this little part right here, different color, you can do some nice little color separation on the color separation it's already going to have. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have parts for the legs as well as the knees right here. Next we're going to have is going to be Runner K, so we're going to have some of the skirts right here. Uh, this is going to be more parts for what looks like the, uh, the shoulders as well as maybe the legs. Uh, but another thing is that... Runner K is going to be a darker tone gray than the Runner K, or Runner J, I mean. So it's really hard to see on the camera, especially that the fact that I have a you know white background. But this is actually a darker tone than the uh, the J, and then the J is obviously going to be a, uh, a gray tone in comparison to the white. So you have three different tones of a light color right here. So you got a fairly neutral kind of you know gray tone then you're gonna have a light gray and then a white so that's gonna look really damn good especially if you uh you know decide to enhance it by painting it the actual colors maybe just a little bit more bright next is gonna be runner i1 this is gonna be all your yellow bits so you can definitely see over here you're gonna have a lot of funnel parts and then over here on the side you're just gonna have more parts that's gonna be on the ms itself uh here you're gonna have like the v-fin you got vents and all that but yeah, it looks it looks a little bit more orange to me. I'm not too sure if that's just my eyes, but yeah, it's supposed to be all the yellow parts. Next is gonna be runner C1. So here you're just gonna have a bunch of different parts for the hands. You got side skirts right there. Uh, you got parts for the legs. And you know, once again, you are gonna have some level of detail inside all these bits. It's just going to look really good. And I, I mean, I'm definitely going to tell you that you are going to need to panel line this kit because if you do not panel line it, it's just, I don't think you're really going to get the same impact uh, of it being a straight build without any kind of paint or any kind of added, you know, just lo level of depth of uh, appearance. And that's going to be runner L1. So this one's going to house all the hands and it's going to have some other parts in terms of inner frame and you can just see all the level of detail right there. So looking really damn awesome. Uh, really excited to go ahead and just, just tackle this immediately. 
And next is going to be runner F. So this is going to be all your blue, like your your dark blue or navy blue. Uh, but yeah, it's going to have all the bazooka stuff right up here. It's going to have more bits just for like the legs. You got parts of the feet, uh, more parts for the bazooka right up here. You got the backpack and so on and so forth. Um, I'm seeing some level of detail, at least on the feet, but I'm not seeing much on other parts. Looks like it's just going to be more of like a, a simple slab, but there is some surface uh, details in some of these bits. So you can see like right here, this one's going to have some nice little, uh, looks like screws of some sort. That's going to be right there in the back. So that's going to be cool to color in maybe silver, uh, just to make it pop a little bit more on the part. But yeah, otherwise it's, it's going to be looking really good. And here is runner H, so you're gonna have even more inner frame bits right there. You're gonna have the underside of the shield, which is looking super damn sexy. Uh, you're gonna have parts for the rifle and just more inner frame all riddled throughout the body. And here we have is runner E. Now this is going to be all your fin funnel parts. So a lot of repetitive building. I'm not, I'm not gonna hate this one as much as I did like the full armor unicorn when it, you know, had to build like six of the Gatlings. Uh, this is, I think, a little more tolerable because it's not as many parts. It's, it's looks like, it looks like it's a little bit more of just bulky parts. So this shouldn't be too bad, but we'll definitely see in the long run. And the last runner is going to be runner G, and this is going to have even more inner frame. Man, there's a lot of inner frame for this kit, and uh, it looks good. So I'm actually very happy that they went a little bit more on the emphasis of this inner frame and not have it any kind of like pre-made. This is just way better than the pre-made stuff they've been doing in the, the older RGs. Ever since they really, I think, made like the tall geese. Uh, tall geese, I think, only had like one part that was uh, pre-made inner frame. The rest of it was just pretty much constructed. So I'm really enjoying the fact that they're doing this a lot more. And you're going to have the thrusters right here as well. So these uh, are going to be compatible uh, with the uh, figure eyes effect parts. Uh, to my knowledge, I've seen it with them on, so definitely excited to see how they're going to look with all those nice, beautiful effects. Also, some beam effect parts. Here is the marking sticker sheet, so lots of silver right here, which looks good. Some of this I'm going to just try and paint on my own, but you are going to have some of the seals and like the emblems right down there, uh, which looks really good. Uh, I'm not going to have any problems with these. I don't have any water slides to begin with, so I'm kind of like forced to use these. But uh, for the most part, the RG stickers have been you know getting a little bit better, minus the RG crossbone with that little you know chess emblem. Otherwise, everything else is looking really good. So in the box, we get a lot of different advertisements. This one is just advertising the Bandai online shop, so the uh, P Bandai stuff. Uh, but this is showing the expansion parks for the double funnel. I am absolutely going to pre-order this as soon as I can. It's also going to come with a stand, which is going to have the uh, the new or Amuro Ray symbol right there. So that's looking so damn good. I cannot wait to put this on there with a bunch of different funnels flying all over the place. And then inside here, you're just getting more of what you can actually order online, not too into that uh, SD stuff, to be honest. But you are gonna have the, uh, the real grade perfect strike. And then over here, the second V. Uh, but yeah, looking really good. I'm, I'm gonna try and get my hand on this uh, Crossbone X0, if you can see that. But yeah, I want to get my hands on that uh, Master Grade Crossbone X0. I do have the high grade, but I do want the Master Grade just because of the sheer size. And then on the back, they are advertising the F98 to Z project. So going to be a lot of different F90s coming out, which I'm super pumped about. And this is going to be some advertisement for the Re-Rise series. Now, as much as I'm not feeling this series and I haven't really given my thoughts on it, you know, it... it I'm going to give it a chance just because I feel like maybe this could be a redemption from the original Diver series, but we'll see. And over here, they're just showing you all the kits. I don't know, man. Like, the kits look so plain, uh, minus like two of them. But yeah, for the most part, I'm, man, I'm not feeling these kits at all, but uh, they will be in the mobile game. Speaking of mobile games, they're just showing you a little advertisement that this game did come out. So uh, you can go ahead and just scan the QR code if you want to download it, but just go to the shop itself. Nothing on the back, but yeah, it's a pretty cool little shot. Gundam Base Tokyo, so you just get some nice little information about what you can expect when you go over there. And of course, they're going to advertise that beautiful, beautiful Masquerade Unicorn perfectability. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. And the last of the advertisements is going to be the 30 minute missions. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of showing you the construction and what all is in the line right now. So there's a lot of stuff that you can get. I do know that a lot of these parts just come out, uh, came out. So I think these leg boosters actually just came out if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I think these two actually came out uh, today. I just didn't find them or I just, I just didn't see them and uh, I didn't pick them up. So 
These two are going to be coming out next month, which I am super stoked for because I like this backpack. I like those little fuel tanks right there on the back. But yeah, it just shows that you can go ahead and customize them however you really want. And lastly, it's going to be the manual. So, you know, obviously it's a manual. It's an RG manual. Nothing really too exciting on the inside. Um, get some nice little pictures right there. Some uh, display options for your poses. That's always a good thing when they show you the poses because some people may not be too uh, keen on their posing. So... They might want to do you know use those as references as in, at least as a starting point so that way they can build up uh their posing kind of like a portfolio but yeah on the back is just going to be all the sticker you know decals and you're gonna have the color chart right down there as well as amuro ray so that's pretty much it guys this is looking like a beast of a kit i cannot wait to get started on it hopefully i can go ahead and finish it up by this weekend and sunday night i can have this review up and ready for all you guys so it's gonna be an all-nighter we're gonna be doing some live streaming so stay tuned for all that but uh that's it guys so definitely thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you in the review bye bye <laughs>